Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to tell which fraction is equivalent to another. Now, the most simple way to do this is actually using cross multiplication and seeing if the numbers on both sides are equal. If they are, they're equivalent. If they're not, then they're not equivalent. So here's an illustration for you. Let's suppose you want to find out if 3 fourths is equivalent to 6 eighths. So what you want to do is set them equal to each other, just as a hypothetical, and then you do the cross multiplication. So what you want to think about is 8 times 3, which is going to give you 24, and then 4 times 6, and that's 24 as well. And you can tell both numbers are equal. If the numbers on both sides are equal, that means the fractions are equivalent. So what that means is that 3 fourths is equal to 6 eighths. Now, is that always going to be the case? No, of course not, because not all fractions are equivalent. So suppose you have, want to see if uh, 4 sevenths is equivalent to 7 elevenths. Same kind of idea. Cross multiply and then see if the numbers match. If they do, they're equivalent. If not, then they're not equivalent. So 11 times 4 is going to give you 44, and then 7 times 7 is going to give you 49. Obviously, this is not true, so that means the, the fractions are not equivalent. So a good way to test it is use cross multiplication. If the numbers match, then they're equivalent, and if they're not, then they're not. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to determine when fractions are equivalent.